Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to take a screenshot of an entire web page. So this is different than just capturing what you could see on the screen. So if I pressed print screen right now, or alt print screen actually, and if I go to paste it in Word for example, you can see it's just the part that I was able to see on the screen, which is not necessarily going to be what you want all the time. And of course you could you know, shrink down the website like that, but then it's not going to look good when you take a screenshot of it obviously. So what we're going to use today is a free extension called Go Full Page. So it's full page screen capture. So this will work for Chrome and it should work for Edge as well. So you just install it like any other extension. And then once you have it ready to go, it'll put a little camera icon in your extensions and you could pin it if you want. Uh, you should also be able to do Alt Shift P, I believe, if you don't want to click on the icon for a keyboard shortcut. So now all we need to do is click on the icon once we're on the page here, or use the shortcut. And you can see it captures the page. It's got the little Pac-Man going across there. And then it'll open up in a new page and show you a preview. And then if you want to edit it, you could do that delete it, make a PDF, download a PNG. So if we just do download PNG, for example, let's just call this page here. And if we open it, you can see it's one big page in an image file. And then of course you could split it up as needed. Like that. And then you have the option too to download it as a PDF. And then when you do this, it'll actually split it up into pages for you. You can see it does that, but it decides where it's going to split it. You know, it doesn't give you the option to tell what's going on what page. All right, and then you also have some options that you could get to from the capture page, or you could go to your extensions here, find the three dots, go to options. So the image format, you could use PNG or JPG. Here's the PDF option here for the paper size. So if you do the premium version, you could do the smart page splitting. So this will do some extra checks when you're splitting a PDF to try and keep it from cutting off text to kind of give you a better page layout. Uh, add date and time, another premium version. Uh, download directory for screen captures. Automatically show a save as when you capture a screenshot. Automatically download files. Fit copies to Google Docs limits. Then you have some permissions here. And so on. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to use and does a good job of capturing web pages. Of course, the longer the page, you know, the bigger the image file is going to be. So if it's something super long, it may not work as good, or you might want to do the PDF option to split it up. Or of course, you could load this into your graphics photo editor program and split it up yourself too. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download the extension, and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.